I'm Deborah Basio and I work for the International Water Management Institute and next week we're having this big meeting of the Nile Basin Development Challenge. The reason we're doing it now is we've had um, almost a year of work already in this program. We've had a lot of people, dozens of people, doing a whole variety of things and we want all of them to get together and sort of share with each other what sort of results they've been having, what they've learned over the last year and then come to agreement about some of the concepts that we need to have in place to move forward with the research project. So we're going to have all of the project uh, participants as well as other important uh, partners all come to the meeting and sort of discuss things around five main themes. We decided to skip the project organization altogether and look at things in the themes that are important ones for the whole of the Nile VDC. So that includes, first of all, checking into what are we talking about with managing rainwater, rainwater management strategies, trying to get everybody clear about what are the concepts, um, what's the frameworks for analysis we're using. Um, because what we found was a major challenge in this for research in this project was that we're working across so many scales. People are working at the very local level in communities. Landscape was one of our major scales and how do we deal with landscapes? And then all the way up to these basin scales. So we need to have concepts and frameworks that allow us to do similar analysis across the scales. So that's going to be also one of the major themes that runs cross-cutting through our sessions. We'll have another session on processes that are happening, which are very important, happening at local scales and national includes everything from uh, innovation system platforms to policy dialogues and co-learning processes, stakeholder workshops and all this type of thing. So we're going to discuss, try to understand what we're doing all together. <laughs> so I think one of the, and then we're going to look also at some of the muts and bolts of the science, how we're going to measure water productivity and hydrology, how we're going to look at livelihoods and measure impacts on them, how we're really going to address ecosystem services, for example, in the program. So we're hoping we all come away with a good understanding of what everybody else is doing and how all of our work is synergistic and we can go ahead then with the next phase of work. So can you summarize the three main outcomes that would make you very happy at the end of the week? Three main outcomes. First, I think a common understanding of some of these basic concepts and frameworks that we're going to be using. It's really surprising you say rainwater management strategies, you think you know what you're talking about and it turns out we all have a different understanding. So some basic understanding of the concepts that we need for to use throughout the project will be very good. Another one would be really good to know how any of the things that have already emerged are going to be taken up and carried forward through the projects. So we'll break up again in the end into project streams so people can see how what we've already learned will, will be um, taken up. Um, and another one is just to understand um, the science, if we're happy with the science as it's going if we're happy with the research, the quality of the science, or if, if we need to make big changes, or if there's some huge gaps, things that we've completely missed out. This is a good time for us to make some minor corrections.